welcome to today's video in this video i'm going to answer three questions that came in 2019 that is grade 12 mathematics paper 1 2019 gce i'm going to answer question one two and three okay if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel we invite you to subscribe to our youtube channel so that you can watch videos like this one on daily basis please if you find this video help remember to like it and don't forget to invite your friends to subscribe to our youtube channel now let's get started with today's uh, video so as i said earlier on i'm going to answer three questions that came in 2019 uh, examination paper for gce so question one was simplify four minus two open brackets b minus a close bracket minus one so this is the question students were asked to to simplify okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to rewrite this expression down okay so this is the expression now what you need to do you need to work out first those um, figures or variables that are in the bracket in brackets you need to start with the brackets after you have exhausted all the numbers or elements in the brackets that's when you can now deal with your yeah, other numbers so what we're going to do is we are going to multiply two negative two by these variables that are inside the brackets so what i'll do is i'm going to write four down there then once i write four down there i'm not going to write the minus sign and you shouldn't either do that so uh so what we're going to do now we're going to to multiply negative 2 by b because we, we want to get rid of the bracket so negative 2 multiplied by b it's going to give us negative 2b then again we're going to multiply negative 2 multiplied by negative a it's going to give us positive 2a then we are going to write minus 1 minus one we are just writing it just like we did with four we are not doing it, anything to it we are just writing it down okay now once we have done that what we need to do next is we need to put the like terms together we need to put the like terms together so what we're going to do is we are going as you can see when we look at 2b and 2a they are not like terms so the like terms here are four and one so these they will be brought together because these they can be simplified further so what we're going to do is we're going to write four then we bring negative one remember we are taking negative one not just one so you take even the negative sign to four so we're going to take negative one there then uh 2b plus 2a will just be written as we are not going to do anything to them okay once we have done that what we're going to do next now we're going to work on four minus one these they can be simplified so 4 minus 1 will give us 4 minus 1 will give us 3 then we are going to rewrite negative 2b plus 2a okay once we have done that we have simplified if we look at this expression there is no way where we can simplify further because these are no longer like terms there are no like terms 3 is different negative b is different plus 2a is different so they are not like terms okay so that way we have found the answer so now that expression which is 4 minus 2 open bracket b minus a close bracket minus 1 has been simplified to 3 minus 2b plus 2a okay now let's go to question 2 question 2 they're asking us to evaluate um 81 um, the square root of 81 or not leave the square root the number that you can multiply four times to get 81 that in brackets raised to the power 3 I left 3 there so it is raised to the power 3 okay so let me write it down here okay now raised to the power 3 so to solve this one we need to talk about board mass again just like we 
So board mass, just like we did in the first question, we, cons we start by dealing with the numbers in the brackets. So when you see a number is written like the way 83, 81 is written there, 81 and there is a square root sign, then there the square root there is 4 there. That means we need to find a number that we need, we can multiply by itself 4 times, then it gives us 81. We need to find a number that we can divide uh, 81 by that number 4 times or until it gives us 1. Yes, so we divide the 81 4 times and the quotient we get is 1. Okay? Or we need to find a number that we can multiply by itself 4 times and then the product it gives us 84. Okay? So, let's start. Let's try 1. So, if we say 1 by 1, we multiply 1 4 times, the answer will be 1. 1 by 1, 1. 1 by 1 by 1, 1. 1 by 1, 1. So the answer will be 1. Let's try 2. 2 by 2 will give us 4. 4 by 2 will give us 8. 8 by 2 will give us 16. Okay? Now, what we are trying to do here, we are multiplying a certain number 4 times. We want to find a number that when we multiply it 4 times, it will give us 81. That's what you are looking for. So, I tried 2 and 1. They are giving us the number which is not 81. 1 has given us 1. 2 has given us 16. Let's try 3. So, 3 by 3 will give us 9. 9 by 3 will give us 27. 27 by 3 will give us 81. So, 3 is the number that we can multiply by itself 4 times and then it gives us 1. It gives us 81 as a product. Okay? So, we are going to use 3. So, when you work out uh, 81 in bracket there, it's going to give us 3. So, I'm going to pick 3. One, only one 3 from that, those th four threes. Then I'll write it here. So, I'll write 3. Now, I've worked out the, the numbers in brackets. Then, uh, the, 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 the answer is 3. So that 3 lays to the power 3. The same 3 which is on in question, the one which is raised outside the bracket is the one I've brought down where there is 3. Okay? Now, once you have done that, what you need to do is now, don't be too smart to do things ab in abstract. What we need to do now is to expand. You should expand this expression. If you know about indices this is what you want to apply here about indices so we're going to expand this three raised to the power three so we're going to multiply three three times okay then we say three by three will give us nine then nine by three okay then nine by three will give us 27 which is the final answer so if we're writing that Question which is 81 square root, then 4 there, raised to the power 3 is equal to 27. So the whole entire expression there in question 2 is equal to 27. What you need to remember is you need to master that whenever brackets are used, always refer to board mass. Whenever brackets are used in the question, always refer to board mass. Okay, so 27 was the correct answer for this question 2. Okay, let's go to question 3, um, which is factorize completely 32x squared minus 50. Okay, so what we're going to do is, I'm going to write this question down here. Now, before I start working out, what I want to do is, uh, we are going to ignore x squared. And then we just focus on 32 and 50. So, we're going to ignore 32, we are going to use, we are going to ignore x squared, then we are going to focus on 32 and 50. Okay. Once we focus on that, what we are going to do next now is uh, we are going to find a factor that can go into 32 and 50. A number that can go into 32 and 50. The biggest number. Which is sometimes called uh, the highest common factor or the greatest common factor. Okay. So we are going to find the greatest common factor of 32 and 50. 
one can go into both numbers 32 and 50 uh, can 32 go into both can 2 go into 32 and 50 can can 2 go into 32 and 50 yes it can yes it can can 3 go into 32 and 50 it can go in both can 4 go into 32 and 50 um, 4 can go into 32 in 50 it will give us a decimal number as an answer which is 12.5 so 5 5 cannot go into 32 but in 50 can 6 can't go in both so it seems like 2 is the greatest common factor so we are going to use 2 as our highest common factor so we're going to write 2 then we open bracket then we say how many times can 2 go into 32x squared? It will go 16x squared. Then we say, how many times can 2 go into 50? We are saying, or into negative 50, we are saying it can go negative 25 times. Okay? Now, once we have done this, now we are going to forget about 2 and focus on 16 and 25. 16x squared and negative 25. Okay? Now what we are going to do here, we are going to find numbers that we can multiply by itself and then they give us uh, the product either 16x squared or 25 negative 25 okay or 25 let's just focus on 25 let's forget about negative for a while okay so what we're going to do i'm going to write two here and i'm going to open brackets with the box bracket uh, the reason being that we want to square to find the square root of these uh, two numbers that is 16 x squared and 25 okay so for us to get 16 x squared we need to multiply 4x by 4x, then it will give us 16x squared. So we're going to write. So what is there is this. Mm, I've just found the square root of 16. The number we can multiply by itself to get 16 is 4. 4 by 4 give us 16. Then I'll get um, 1 square from the squared. So it's which is going to be. I'm going to open bracket with curly bracket with these brackets then I'm going to write 4x squared this to the power 2 so when you when you when you evaluate 4x squared 4x squared will give us 16 uh, x squared okay when you evaluate open bracket 4x close bracket squared it will give us 16 x squared okay then we say minus 5x squared, okay? The, the number we can uh, multiply by itself to get 25 is 5. So we're going to write 5 squared. We then close bracket with the box uh, brackets. Then once we have done that, we, we should again here forget about 2 a bit, okay? Let's talk about 4x squared minus 5x squared, okay? Um, you should be aware that um, 4x squared minus 5x squared is the same as, so the, the, the rule I've written in pink there down there, which is saying a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b, open bracket, a plus b, close bracket, you see, or m squared minus b squared is equal to open bracket a minus b close bracket open bracket a plus b close bracket okay so that's the the that's how we are going to write those uh, numbers the that expression on top where there is 4x raised to the power 2 then 5 mm, raised to the power 2 okay so what we're going to do is i'm going to write 2 then i open with that then I'm going to use the same, I'm going to follow the same rule 
where I'm going to write, instead of writing 4x squared, I'm just going to write 4x minus 5, okay? Then, again, on, on the next bracket, I'm going to write 4x my plus 5. Remember, we are using plus because uh, we want to get, when we start evaluating this, or yes, when we start evaluating this one, we need to come up with a negative number at the end. So, when there is a negative, when there is a minus sign, what you need to do is, uh, when you are writing, you need to make one of the numbers in brackets to have an operation of a positive sign or plus sign. Then thereafter, we are going to close bracket. Okay? So, here now, we have fully factorized this uh, expression we are given. So, 32x squared minus 50 is equal to 2 open bracket open bracket for x minus 5 close bracket open bracket for x plus 5 then close bracket close bracket that is the final if you have questions you can still ask in the comment section uh, basically what you need to do with this third question you just have to master the rule which is down there in between uh, step 3 and step 4 which is a raised to the power 2 minus b raised to the power 2 is equal to open bracket a minus b close bracket open bracket a plus b equal close bracket so that is what you have just done um there is no much of calculation i've just uh, like in more or less like expanded that uh, uh, 4x squared minus 5 squared. I've just ex expanded it. So that's how I've just done it. So basically, uh, this is how we are supposed to solve these questions during the exams. If you found this video helpful, remember to like and also share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you.